Hi guys, welcome back. We're starting out in Freeside proper today, which is a new place for us to explore. It seems like we're getting ever closer to Benny and the question of the platinum chip, but I don't think we're going to make it quite that far today because I would like to have a thorough look around the outskirts of the city. And I quite like the look of this here because it's the first place that looks remotely Vegasy with the big pretty signs and whatnot. Not everything is open, but we're going to check out the ones that are starting right evening. here evening with the Silver Rush. I'm afraid Ooh. I'm going to have to search you before letting you in. The only weapons allowed on the premises are the ones we're selling. Oh, um, oh. I mean, uh, sure, okay, I, I guess that's fine. It should only take a moment. There, I've stored all of your weapons, you're clear to enter. When you leave, I'll hand them all back to you. Okay, that's fine with me. I'm not gonna cause any trouble for these people. The bosses are having a meeting. You'll have to wait until it's over. Oh. Hi, bosses. Mr. Soren, please get to the point. The second half of your payment is late and I want to know why. Miss Van Graff, my associates and I have decided that we wish to renegotiate the terms of our deal. Might I ask for what reason? The shipment was delivered. The guns were tested before leaving this facility. Regardless, we feel that the quality of the weapons is below expectation and hope to adjust the price accordingly. Ah, I think I understand what the issue here is. Excuse me for a moment, would you? Do it. What? Okay! Never break faith with the Van Graffs, Mr. Soren. I expect you'll have the rest of our payment ready tomorrow morning. Mr. Soren? Okay, everyone. Show's over. Are you Back okay? to work. Did you see how he kind of ghosted away from the door after he left? That was odd. I don't really want to talk to this chick. She doesn't seem like very good news. Look at how shiny the weapons are. I do... Evening. Appreciate it. It seems like the plasma weapons Hello. have gotten a lot shinier from Fallout 3, and that is something I can definitely get behind. Okay, crazy, what's up? You are ugly, too. What up? Welcome to the Silver Rush, where only top-of-the-line energy weapons can be found. What can I do for you? Why did you melt that man? Can I ask you some questions? Not at all. Okay, why did you melt that man? Is this a family business? Yes, it is. My brother and I run this particular branch, but our family has operations all over, particularly in California. Okay. Well, why did you melt the man? I would really like some info. Ooh, what do you know of Mr. House? I think getting this kind of info from the locals will be really useful before we go in there and have to do anything potentially with him. Because since he sent Victor, we're probably going to be dealing with him uh, sometime around the same time that we deal with Benny. Very little. Same as everyone else. We attempted to deal with him when we first moved into the area, but had no luck. He must have his own weapons supplies to keep as many laser-armed robots operational as he does. Makes me wonder where they are. What does that mean? Are you thinking about robbing him? Is that what that's supposed to mean? Well, what about yourself? Oh, there's not much to tell. I was born into a big family and don't get along with my parents. So here I am, as far away from them as possible. Okay. This seems like a bad area to open up a store. Well, maybe it's fine. I don't know. Then again, no, it's not fine. Look around and you'll notice two things. First, we don't lack for security. I'm not worried about anyone breaking in here or stealing our goods. Not that we don't occasionally have attempts, but even those prove useful. Do you know how much target dummies cost? Back to my point. The second thing you'll notice is that we do not sell cheap merchandise. Everything here is second to none. People who buy Van Graaff goods typically don't care where they have to go to get them. Okay, but back to that thing you said about training dummies. Why would you pay a lot for a training dummy when you can just use sarsaparilla bottles? I mean, come on. Sunny Smiles taught me that. Well, what can you tell me about Freeside anyway? 
This place is certainly lively, that's for sure. Did you want to know something specific about it? Yes. How about the kings? Ah, the rulers of Freeside. The kings are a bunch of boys who refuse to grow up, and this is their playground. Their leader seems different, though. The few times I've dealt with him, I've been impressed, despite myself. Unfortunately, he rarely acts. The kings believe that everyone in Freeside can do whatever they want, provided they can back it up with force. Which suits us just fine. When we first arrived in Freeside, the kings protested when we kicked out the original occupant of this establishment. When we reduced several of their members to glowing puddles of goo, their objections vanished. Since then, we've left each other alone. What about the followers? I don't really have much to do with them. They seem to have an aversion to weapons technology, and those who possess a great deal of it. Their loss, really. That makes them sound like the anti-Brotherhood, but okay. What is there to do here? Well, you probably noticed the Atomic Wrangler across the street. I did. That's pretty much the place to go around here. Oh, okay. They make it a little loud around here at night, but the business their proximity brings more than makes up for it. Other than them, you're better off skipping Freeside entirely and just heading to the Strip. But I specifically wanted to look around here, thank you. Suits me. What did you have in mind? Well, what do you think of the gun runners? There are chief competitors in this region and many others. That makes them our enemies. While I respect their business acumen, I'm obligated to try to destroy them however I can. That's business, after all. Okay. Well, what do you think of the Legion? I've only heard rumors, since this is the furthest east our operations go, but the rumors are pretty scary. They're said to be a huge slaver nation, with all the soldiers obeying their lord with unquestioning obedience. Sounds like a man I'd like to meet. Really? Okay. Uh, and the NCR? You must not know a lot about my family, or you wouldn't have asked that. The Van Graffs and the NCR have been enemies for decades. They've tried to block our expansion for years, but we've managed to grow regardless. The problem is, they have too. The NCR is huge now. We're talking on a scale that's difficult to imagine. Time was, we could fight them and hold our own. Not so anymore. My family has enough men and guns to field a small army, but the NCR can field a really, really big army. Fighting them is out of the question now. Well, okay then. Do you have any kind of work that you need done? It just so happens a position opened up recently. Oh, really? We currently need another body to guard the entrance outside. Think you can handle that? Uh, sure. Wonderful. I already have a man outside who can show you the ropes and get you set up. His name is Simon. Well, this is neat. He's been with the family for years, so listen to what he says and follow his instructions. Absolutely. I mean... Personal space, guys. That's really romantic. I think maybe... I think maybe our, our little king has found himself a man crush. But anyway, I can't really be too hard on her for melting a guy. Because it's not like I haven't melted a few guys in my time, so... You know. Though they weren't... Uh, completely helpless. That's kind of a big difference, I think. Okay, hi. Um, you're gonna teach me? Welcome to the Sylve. Ah, oh, crap. Don't tell me you're my new guard. Yeah, uh, how did you know? You can always tell a rookie. You look too eager. Get the job a few hours, and the shine will come right off. Nothing can take my You'll shine be away. You'll the other side of the door there. Take your position while I get your stuff out. Okay. Nothing can take my shine away, Good. I tell you what. Look around and get a feel for where customers and risks can enter and exit the area while I get your gear ready. Eddie, you're in my space, and you're in my face. But that's okay. Is that a threat? No, that's a woman in short shorts. Okay, good. Simon, hurry up. Come on. Come here, buddy. Okay, now let's get you geared up. Ooh, First, your armor. Nice. Standard issue is your run-of-the-mill combat armor with a nice dark coat of paint for both brand recognition and sheer intimidation value. Cool. Next, your weapon. Guards are required to use rifles. Anything lighter compromises your combat effectiveness. Can Anything I use my heavier own? Anything heavier and people are too scared to come in the door. What's your preference? Laser or plasma? 
Plasma? Oh, we can ask him what the difference is. Lasers have a high rate of fire, but not a lot of stopping power. Plasma, on the other hand, is slow as a mule, but with a kick to match. Give me the kick. So, what'll it be? Give me the kicky kick. Nothing wrong with going plasma. Just make sure you hit what you're aiming at. Okay. Now that you're equipped, a quick word on the job at hand. Okay. In a nutshell, we're here to keep the riffraff away. Drunks, punks, and capless vermin are to be turned away. Potential customers are to be permitted normal entrance. That is, after we pat them down for weapons. An unarmed man is a lot less likely to try to steal something with several armed guards around. Okay. Don't start any fights. I don't care if some jet junkie just insulted your mother. We're here to promote violence elsewhere, not start it here. Okay. Lastly, don't abandon your post. We're getting paid to stand next to this door, not talk to someone down the street or head to the casino. That goes double for any thoughts of splitting with that gear. Every now and then, some young punk thinks he can run off with Van Graaff property. Trust me, the rifle and armor are nice, but they're not worth your life. Other than that, relax. Who knows? You might attract a high roller from the Wrangler over there and never have to pull a gig like this again. Okay. Well, that's just fine. So we're just gonna stay here, huh? You've got some hours left before your shift ends. Okay. I am content to hang out here. It's gonna be fine. Here comes a winner. I'll let you handle this one. Um, okay. I don't want to kill him outright, you know? It just doesn't seem fair. So, um, I'm gonna talk to him first. I don't really like the way he phrased handle him, but I'll be nice to him. Hi! Hi there. Is this where I can pick up a laser gun? Yes, sir. As soon as I know that you've got money, uh, I can't let you in company policy. Sounds like a stupid policy to me. Um, Good. Stick to the rules. I, I am sticking to the rules. Come back with money and when Another you're not coming. You're on. drunk. Where's he coming from? The same way? Ooh, over there. This one looks like he's got some caps. Alrighty. Come here, buddy. You want to buy a fancy weapon? We have fancy weapons. Gambler? Uh, hi. I was, uh, in the area and thought I'd stop by to look at your weapons. Can I go in? As long as you let me search you first. Fine by me. He's okay, clean. Okay, you're good to See? go. Not so hard, is it? No, this is super easy. I could definitely do this. Heads up. Looks like we got another customer. Okay. See, and you said the shine would come off. It's not. I'm still shiny. You better believe it, okay? Super duper shiny. Just like this guy. He's got a nice outfit. I actually really like his suit. You look nice. Hey, handsome, what up? Howdy. I just done broke the bank over at the Wrangler there and thought I might peruse your fine wares. Maybe lighten my purse a little? Absolutely. We just have to pat you down for weapons first. Now, hold on here. I'm not packing any heat. Ain't my word good enough for you? I am so sorry, but this is company policy. No exceptions. I suppose it's all right. If there's no other choice. At least you get a at least you get a cute See, girl to pat you, you down so. instead of Simon over there. Could have been worse. Could have been worse. See, and he's Looks gonna like spin. Guys headed this way. Don't screw it up. Okay. That guy down there, all the way down there. Well, he looks like a trader. He has the trader's outfit, does he not? Shouldn't be any problem. You know, I just bet our little king friend and Boone are like, what are we even doing? Like, Boone's probably like, why Why did I leave to follow you if you're just going to stand here and play guard dog? Well, you know what, Boone? We went to a planetarium together, so I did that for you. So now you can do this for me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I did that for me, too. He didn't care. <laughs> he did not care at all that we were at a plane term. Hi! Hey, looking for something to replace my old revolver. Mind if I head in? Sure thing, as long as I search you first. That's not really necessary, is it? I already told you I got this here revolver, right? I am so sorry, but it is our company policy. 
Damn, I knew this wasn't gonna work. Wait, what's she Stop gonna do? It. Uh oh. Well, Whoa. I didn't even get to. Now what in the hell do you suppose that was about? I don't really know. I want to search him, but I'm not gonna. Help me clean this up. No one's gonna want to shop here with the corpse out front. Okay. Wow. Who? This is Boone. And this is Eddie, and they are right up on me. Oh, because we were cleaning it up. I just wanted to take his revolver. Oh, look! Crap. This I do not need today. Keep your head straight, rookie. Things are about to get interesting. I will, Boone. You're in my spot, and you look surprised or angry, both maybe. Anyway, that's all right. I'll just stand near you. You probably look more intimidating than me anyway. Hi, hey, hello. Simon. How's it hanging? Looks like you've got a little helper today. Yeah, what can I say? I'm helping. This has been good lately. You can afford to help. Good to hear, buddy. So is the boss lady in? You know she is. Why don't you go in and say hi? Nah, I got some rounds to run. But do pass along that I'm always thinking of her. Actually, I got a better idea. Make the new hire tell her. You'll do that for me, won't you? Sure thing, sir. I will be happy to pass that along. I mean, you seem like you want me to get hurt or something, so I kind of want to know why you're not telling her yourself, though. I would, but I tend to distract the boss lady a little too much. She can't help herself. Anyway, I got things to do. Later, Simon. Bye, Pacer. Keep your head, rookie. Let's hope for you yet. Oh, thanks. It's just about closing time. Let's go see the boss about getting paid. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna need the rifle and armor back. Boss's orders. Yeah, okay, sure. There you go. So that guy, he was one of the kings. Because, am I naked? <gasps> oh no, how inappropriate. And in public. Oh no, what a disgrace. Yay, all better. Okay, inside we go. Yeah, so that guy was definitely one of the kings from the uh, the way he was uh, talking, you see. Okay. Uh, time to get paid. Simon's been telling me how it went. Let's do a quick recap. You kept away the undesirables, patted down the rest for weapons, and kept your cool. That is to say, you performed as instructed. Simon was impressed, and so am I. So you get a small bonus with your normal pay. Yay, bonus! Unfortunately, I found someone else with a little more experience, and he'll take over the position starting tomorrow. He's not gonna do as good. However, another task has come up that I could use some help with. Assuming you're still interested in making some money. I am, but I'm gonna tell you right now, Gloria. This guy, he may have more experience, but he does not have more heart. He does not have more soul. And he does not have as nice of a smile. There's a deal that we've been working on for a while now, and the buyer would like a sample of our weapons. I need you to run a package out to a discreet location that the client has chosen. Sound good? That sounds right up my alley. I am a courier after all, definitely. Good. Here's the package. I'll mark the location on your map. The buyer said they'd be in town for quite a while, so there's no rush. That said, try not to dawdle. This client could mean big money for us, which naturally means big money for you. We will do this right away. Right away, ma'am. Let's take a quick look at birds of a feather. Deliver the package to a man at the designated location. And the designated location is right out there. That should not be difficult at all. I think I will do that very soon. But first, let's have a bit more of a look around Freeside because we... I've only made one stop on our grand tour of the place. Uh, Kingman's Bar, no, BBQ, excuse me, uh, is not opened, unfortunately. But the dumpster is, and uh, it's a metal spoon, no thanks. I guess we can go into the Atomic Wrangler and look at that. I remembered the name and everything. Quick learner. You know it. And down there we have the King's School of Impersonation. I love it. That's how they all learned to... Ooh. Uh-oh. Oh. She's doing the Night Elf dance from World of Warcraft. Everybody watch out. Let's go in here. <laughs> um. Let's go in here. The Atomic Wrangler. It's kind of... Dark and dingy. I like the stage. 
Are they going to have a, a performance? Can I perform here? I would like to be a performer. I can juggle. Is that a talent? And they have rooms for rent, I suppose. Well, let's talk to James here first. Hi, James. Welcome to the Atomic Wrangler. What can I get you? I don't know. What do you have for sale? Sure. Take a look. Beer, Nuka-Cola, Scotch, Sarsaparilla, Vodka, Whiskey, and Wine. Well, I don't think I need any of that. How is business treating you, James? We ain't scraping to get by, if that's what you're asking. Um, okay. That's, uh, I guess that is what I was asking. Uh, ooh, I could use some help with my reputation in Freeside. That is an interesting... That is an interesting option. Can he help us with this? For the right caps, I might be able to put in a good word. Or let people know you're not such a bad guy. What do you have in mind? Oh, that's really cool. I want people to like me. I do. I want people to like me, James. Alright, I can chat you up. But it's gonna cost you. I'm not risking my reputation around here for nothing. Oh, my... I'm a beacon of morality. People should be lining up to shake- This is true! People should be lining up to shake my hand. I should bathe in a shower of kisses every morning. I tell you what, guys. I am also a great gal. I do my best to help people. I really do. I just do a few things here and there. That's also not wrong. Uh, well, we got money to burn. Um, <laughs> I just do things here and there, I guess, James. I know, I probably don't even need to do this because I- I'm going to do quests, and I'm going to get rep, but, I mean, come on, guys. Come on, guys. Let's actually, you know, we are a great gal. Tell people that I like to help everyone. That's what That'll I want. That'll do nicely. I'll spin some stories about how you stopped a mugging or two and saved a kid's pet rat from certain doom. Yes, that sounds like me. Thank you very much, Mr. James. And speaking of good deeds, do you need any work done? We've got the basics covered, but... Now you mention it, we have had unusual requests from some of our wealthier customers. What does that if mean? If you can recruit escorts to match these customers' proclivities... Oh no! I'd be willing to pay you finder's fees. James! I don't like the sound of this. What kind of, like, what are you talking about? What kind of weird stuff are they into? I'm not gonna go out there and get a Legion guy with his wolf helmet to fulfill the fantasies of these guys if that's what you our want. Our wealthiest client has a thing for ghouls and a thing for cowboys. He wants an escort who can satisfy both fetishes. Plenty of customers have said they'd be willing to pay extra for a suave talker. Someone who can fake the boyfriend experience real good. And then there's these disgusting robot fetishists you may have heard about. Well, those creeps want a sex bot. Mm. If you ever run across a sex bot, not that I'd ever want one within a hundred feet of me, but I gotta be a businessman about it. Yeah, that just sounds all kinds of wrong. I'm expecting a lot of money for this. Yeah, I... I mean... Does this really make me a pimp? Like... I don't think it does. It just makes... I'm just... It's a scavenger hunt, guys. We have to find... A sexy robot... A cowboy ghoul... And a uh, smooth talker. Maybe, you know, maybe... Benny could fulfill the smooth talker role. What <laughs> if I just kidnap him and sell him... To James is payback. That would be fun. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'm expecting to be paid a lot. Just don't rough up the merchandise before delivery. You break it, you bought it. Yeah, I don't have any interest. Do not even worry. Ooh, surely these escorts are critical to your business. How about double? Okay, you got yourself a deal. That's right. Find escorts to fill the positions and I'll pay double. Okay. I'll see what I can do. Just direct them to the Wrangler. I'll pay you when they show up. Okay. Do you have any idea where I should look for a sex spot? I mean, I... Mm, that It feels weird saying that. The best place to start would be with Ralph at Mick and Ralph's Ooh. over on the east end of Freeside. I heard about that. Other than that, your guess is as good as mine. A real ghoul cowboy? <laughs> okay. Later. Later. Ah, look at that. They like me now because they think I did things I didn't do. But that's fine. Hello, sir. Caleb McCaffrey. Something you need, kid? I just wanted to say hello. What do you do around here? 
Hunting and killing, plain and simple. Well, that's nice. Are you a bounty hunter? Bingo! Now, if you're done asking stupid questions, I have more important things to do. No, I'm not. That's my, uh, that's all I ever do, is ask for stupid questions. Do you have any hunting tips for me? Be quick and quiet, and don't get dead. Wow, that's a great one! Thank you, Caleb! It's not like I could not figure that out on my own, thanks. That is one odd robot. What robot? Oh, are you I talking about know. mine? Are you talking about little Eddie? Look at him, he's so cute. Don't you love him? Howdy. Howdy. Hey. Hey. Oh, you're talking to him? Awkward. Okay, so we have actual gambling tables here. Roulette. Blackjack. Ooh, should we try one? Let's try roulette. Oh, we have to purchase chips from the cashier. Of course we do. Of course we Welcome do. Welcome to the Atomic Wrangler. Looking to exchange? Yeah, I want to have my first... Vegas gamble experience, buddy. How many chips would you like? Um, let's go a hundred. Here's your chips. Is there anything else I can help you with? Nah, this is it. This is it for right now. Bye. Bye. Okay, let's lose our money, guys. Should I sit at the stool? Let's make it. Let's make it authentic. Let's sit at the stool. Okay, are you ready, guys? I'm ready. Let's do this. Okay. Do do do. Place bet. On. Oh. Oh. Well, then in that case, remove bet. Okay. Cool. Oh, this is neat. I thought it would just be like a little pop up text menu. It's actually like. Ooh. Okay. 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 Let's um put a lot of money on what? What number do you like? And what color do you like? I kind of like. 29 black. Why don't we go with that? Okay. Can I increase bet? Ah! That's how it works. Okay. Let's go all the way up to... Sure. Why not? 70. That gives us some more money to waste on the next one. And... Finish bet? Let's see what happens. Ooh! Ooh! I could have just picked a color, but I, I was feeling lucky. Oh, it was so close. Look how close that is. Oh! We lost our money, but we almost... Uh. Well. Wait. Atomic Wrangler earn earnings minus one. So I only lost one. But I placed... More than... Okay, guys. I'm not a gambler, okay? I know, like, the basic premise... And that's about all. Okay. Let's just place a lot. Like a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. All of it. Bet it all. And finish bet. It lands on black. We win. Red, of course. Okay. That's. What about my high luck score? I lose one chip. Just one chip? But I'm. I thought I would lose everything I bet. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Okay. No, black again. This is the best way, statistically, to win, is if you keep betting the same one. If you keep flopping back and forth, you mess up your chances. That's the only thing I actually know about gambling. And I don't even know if it's true. I just know that that's what I was told. I don't even remember by who. It's not like... I'm big into the gambling scene, guys. <gasps> Yay, we won! I win! I feel lucky. I win one chip. Yay, me! So the luck skill does do something, because I feel lucky. Or maybe that's just flavor text. Well, we got our chip back. So, should we do it again? Let's do it again. I just feel... Really into it. I hope I'm even, like, doing this correctly. I feel like I should be losing more than one chip at a time. Black again! Hooray! Okay, so we've undone our losses, pretty much. Okay, we're back up to... We undid our losses. We lost stuff, and then we undid it. And now we've got 100 chips. And maybe I'll come back and play with those, because... Oh, slots. We can actually play the slots. Do we want to? We do. Okay. 
slots. All right. Now let's see. Good luck. Okay. Uh, w to spin. E increase bet. Yeah, let's increase the bet. Let's put in five. How about that? Oh, you can bet max. All right. Well, let's try this for now. Lemons. Ah. No, not lemons. Okay. Almost lemons. Um. Ten. How about ten? Seven. Oh no. Wait. I feel lucky and I win money anyway. But this is okay. You know what? I'll take it. I will take it. I kind of want to keep going. But, I mean, that was just one win. How many wins does it take before they... Hey! Hey! Before they don't like you winning anymore. Okay. How about 25? Are you feeling lucky, guys? Wowee, this is actually going pretty well. For someone who doesn't know what they're doing at all. Yay! We did it! I'm a high roller! Maybe. I'm not. I'm not. It's not true. Don't believe me when I say things like that to you. You know I'm just lying. Ooh. They have... Look, guys! It's, uh... The bathroom! Bathroom! Because you can actually have a bath. This is, this is interesting. This is new to me. I've never gone in a place with an actual bathy bathroom. How about that? Eddie, step off. Thanks. And what's over here? A very hard lock. And another bathroom? Wait. What do you mean? Wait, so that's the women's? The women get bath room and the men just get toilet room? Oh no, they get bath. They get one gross bathtub. That's not fair. Our poor boys. Our poor boys are having to take gross baths. That is so sad. I'm so sad for them. Wow, how big is this place exactly? Where does this go out to? To here. Okay, and what are these other rooms? It is kind of dark in here, don't you think? What's in there? <gasps> the game crashed! No! Our winnings! Well, guys, I'm not gonna Welcome stand for it. Welcome to the Atomic it. Wrangler. Looking to exchange? I am just not gonna stand for that. We need... How many chips would you like? To get our winnings back. 100 chips. Here's your chips. Is there anything else I can help you with? No, that is it. Thank you very much, Mr. Cashier. Bye. Bye. All right. We did a lot better on slots. So let's go right back in to the slots. And let's increase the bet. Start with 10. Something simple, you know. And we feel lucky. Now, 20. <laughs> nice. And 25. <gasps> Fail. Spin again. <gasps> oh no! Okay, we gotta decrease the bet then. Take it down to 10. No, there. Ooh, that was almost all cherries. Okay, I will accept that. That's almost what we had last time. Howdy. Howdy. Okay. So we have a little bit of earnings. Let's continue our look around in the upstairs. Just in case there's somebody else nice up here to speak to. Ah, oh, Boone. I love you. That was great. Thanks. I like how that one goes somewhere else. Okay, that cabinet is cursed. Whatever is in it, I don't want. Also, quick save in case there are other cursed cabinets. Which there are. I don't even need anything in there. I 
hear lots of screaming. That's not a... That's not a good thing. Okay, goodbye. Haunted house. No, thank you. You can keep your demons. What's in here? Oh. I guess this is the room you can rent when you're sleepy. Okay. I'm not sleepy. I mean, maybe I am. But I have plenty of atomic cocktails. So if we get sleepy, we'll just drink one of those. Uh... I think I'm getting kind of turned around, but I thought there was another set of stairs. There is! Okay. What's up here? A locked door? Well... Uh... It's just an average lock, so it's no match... For me! And my... Bobby pins. <gasps> karma, karma. The screaming continues. This place is super haunted. I don't know, know why they would live here. There's somebody in that bed. I don't know who it is, but I don't want to wake him up because they probably wouldn't be happy to know that I'm trespassing. Hey, oh, goodbye. You better get out of here. Okay, you goodbye. Know. See you later. Okay, see ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. I'll snoop around later. You're really scary. I don't know who that was. But I'm gonna not make them hate me. Is that is that it? That's not it. We have a door that we can't go through, and we have a uh. ghoul. Hello, Hadrian. Whoa, baby. Am I looking at a mirror? Or are you just that ugly? Oh, ouch, my little heart. Wow, that was mean. That was so mean. Come on, stay in character. You're supposed to be heckling me. Oh. Why bother? You're embarrassing yourself enough as it is. Hey, not bad. Your timing's terrible and you got no style. But you might make it as a professional heckler. Oh, thank you. Uh, thanks, but I'm not here for that. What? You mean you're not part of the act? No. Huh. Sorry. Thought you were the heckler Garrett hired to spice up the shows. I mean, I would be happy to do that. Can I perform with you? You perform comedy? Yeesh, is my act that bad? Or are you just that dumb? Oh? Yeah, that's right. Got me a nice juicy contract with the management. Oh, uh... How much are you? Well, that seems rude to ask. Judging from the economic state of Freeside, they can't be paying you that much. That sounds rude, too. But it's the least rude. I don't want to... I don't want to go with, I bet you're raking in the cash in this dump. That is super hostile. Though he might like it since he thinks I'm a heckler. Let's just say, I'm sure they're not paying you that much. Okay, I admit it. I ain't exactly rowing in caps here. But what do you want? I'm under contract. I can't get out. Well, that's sad. Who are you exactly? Either you need to get your eyes checked, or that famous fleeting thing is true. And since I happen to be world famous... You must be going blind. Oh, are you? Name's Hadrian. Bet you never saw a ghoul in a suit before, huh? Of course, you don't exactly strike me as the worldly type. Um, well... I guess that's it, Hadrian. Yeah, go on. Scram. Okay, I hope you get your heckler, and I hope you have a good show. Uh, if he were to put on a show, I would definitely watch. Maybe he does that at certain times of day. That would be pretty cool if that were the case. Though I think it's probably not. Well, we can continue down the strip or we can do one of our quests. Let's take a look at Wang Dang Atomic Tango. What a nice name. Ooh. Some of those markers are very close by. I guess we can see about it. Hello, sir. Are you just you gonna... You want to get your hands on some of the deadliest weapons around? I Head have just one down already. the street to the Silver Rush. You won't be disappointed. Um, thanks. And what about you? Are you just like a, a street floozy? Are you a, a corner... No, you're, you're not a, a corner hoe. You're a crier as well. Well, why don't you cry then? 
Hey, baby. Head on down to the Atomic Wrangler if you want to have a good time. Your voice is cute. It makes me feel like you shouldn't be in this profession. I'm sorry. Want to get lucky? Head on down to the Atomic Wrangler. Are you saying that to me or to the boys? Probably the boys. They're... Want to get lucky? No, no, no. Head on down to the Not Atomic Eddie. Wrangler. Don't say that to Eddie. Don't ever speak to me. Make or, a brief stop. Or my robot Wrangler. child ever when again. Hello, King. What's up? The bodyguards at the gates aren't so bad. Except that Oris guy. That bastard runs his mouth a little too much. Oh, really? Ooh, there's some drama going on there. I can sense it. Okay. Well, let's go in here, I suppose. I mean, if this is their gang headquarters, they may not want anybody going in. But I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go in. I have to go in. It's, an, it's an Elvis impersonator school. I have to go in, and these guys, they're fantastic. Okay, I mean it's an Elvis themed gang. It's like everything I ever wanted come true. Oh hi, it's you. It's you. What do we have here? Another petitioner for the king? Don't you recognize me? I was, uh, I was the new guard. Um. I'd like to see the king if possible. I'm not going to ask who he is because I know who he is. He's the leader of their gang, right? The king of the kings, right? Well, it won't hurt to ask. Who's the king? You believe this asshole man? My In Freeside, the kings <laughs> rule. And the king rules the kings. Got it? I got it. I would like to see him. Anything's possible, I suppose. How much is it worth to you to meet the big man? Well... Um, I'm new in town, and I just wanted to pay my respects. You know what? I like you. Half the people around here, they forget who runs this place. Head on through. The king's the bored-looking guy by the stage. Can't fucking miss him. Okay, thank you. Let's go. Whoa. Inside. Ah! That's not a normal dog. That's a... What's up? Um, just being a little surprised that you're Robo Pup, no big deal. Hello. Hello, Rex. I don't like your brain. It, it's in a jar. It looks uncomfortable. This is animal abuse, pretty much. Poor thing. Um. Alright. I'll see you later. Well, uh, hi, King. Look, Rexy. Someone new's come to see us. Poor boy. He hasn't been feeling well lately. Well, yeah. I'm the king. Da, what he, can I do for you? Da, he hasn't been feeling well. He's like barely alive. Um, do you always charge people to talk to you? Charge? <laughs> Pays must be added again. What did he take you for? Nothing. I talked my way in. Pace must be losing his touch. Either that or you're a smooth one. So, what can I do for you? I thought maybe you needed some help. Maybe so. Maybe so. You look like you might be able to handle yourself. Tell you what, you do me a favor, and I'll have some more work for you when it's done. Sound good? Yeah. Uh, will it be dangerous? I like dangerous. In that case, some of the things I need handled will be right up your alley. Okay, good. I'll start you off with something easy. Did you notice the bodyguards for hire near the gates when you entered Freeside? Yeah, I have one. I have one with me right now. It's good money if you can stay alive long enough. Freeside's not as safe as it used to be, so the money is well-earned. Usually well-earned, that is. Recently, my men tell me that one of those bodyguards is getting a suspiciously large amount of business. The man's name is Oris, and everyone who hires him specifically requests him when they return. I want you to find out why. Oh. Specifically, I want you to hire him. He's usually covering the northern gate. Then I want you to head for the southern gate. If nothing happens, so be it. But I'm guessing things won't go so smoothly. Call it a hunch. So, what do you say? Oh, you think your competition is rigging it? Like he has some friends stage a fake mugging and then he saves the guy and then when they come back, they request him again? I... I see. Well, sure, I can totally help with that. Okay, then. Once you part ways, return here. I'll look forward to hearing your report. Oh, and take this to cover the hiring cost. Thank you, King. Uh, 
Hello, King Gang member. It's gotten so bad that even I think twice before going out at night around here. It's hard to take that seriously when you're doing your little mime act, though. Uh, poor doggy. Poor doggy. Well, oh, requires key. That's very interesting. Don't growl at me. Hey. Hey. I hear a New Vegas. Mr. New Vegas. Somewhere. Okay. Just having a little look around their base. I don't expect it to be too horribly interesting. There are quite a few rooms. I guess these were the acting rooms at the time for people to study acting like Elvis. Oh, hi, uh, Sergio. You want your hair done too? No, no, no. The kings are many, and their hair must be perfect. Oh, nice. I like your hair salon. Sergio, keep up the good the good job. Hey. Keep it up. Well, I suppose that's uh about all that's in here that we might be interested in. Everything else is pretty much like this. You know, it's interesting that they charge you outside for water, you know? Remember that guy? He said the king controls the water and he was charging for it, but uh, you just, if you don't want to pay him for water, just go into their base and drink out of their sink. That's apparently acceptable. Uh, well, you know, guys, I have to... Oh, cute golf. They had golf. That's very cute. Can I... Can I play? Oh, no. Ooh! Oh! No. Almost, almost. Come on. Three shots. Please. No, I ruined it. Well, that's all right. We just are bad at golf. That's fine. Well, at least I tried, right? I bet I'm the only one who ever tried that. You? What are you, a veteran at this game? Maybe, probably, most of you are. Well, how many times have you successfully played golf in the King's Hideout, huh? I want to hear your stat numbers about how good you are at golf. That's right. You're not. I know you're not. And if you say you are... You're a liar, probably. Maybe. I'm sorry. I shouldn't call you a liar without knowing. Um, anyway. <laughs> I was just joking, though. But, yeah, I thought the kings were running a protection racket whenever they're like, Hey, you want some protection? You better... Like, you know, okay. You're familiar with what the mob used to do to businesses, right? Like, they would... Oh, hi. Who are you? You pay, sir? What's up? Hey, you're just hanging out in your room now, I guess. Uh, I don't expect there to be anything interesting in here. I just want to have a look around. Wow, desks. Lots of desks. But yeah, back at the... Oh. Man, I can't even get my sentence out. Things keep getting... King Groupy. You're not a king. Does the king know you're up here? Nah, he don't. But that's all right. He's not going to mind. They're not going to mind. Oh, that's another Groupy. Well, this isn't... Oh, my. Uh. Like that. oh yeah, he's following me. Well, that was stupid. <gasps> Curse! Whoopsie! We're gonna um, we're gonna redo that. I thought hidden meant hidden hidden. I thought anyway, that was. I'm an idiot. No biggie. What have you done? Okay, well we're not gonna do that again. It's just a magazine anyway. It's not like it's even one that we really need. I just... Uh, anyway. Sorry. <laughs> Big mistake made by me. Whoopsie-doo. That's alright. So what I was saying... Oh! Ah! Very nice. What I was saying was that I thought they were doing a mob type thing where... Um, pretty much the mob would go to businesses and say, that's a nice business you have here. It would be a shame if something were to happen to it. You better pay us for protection to ensure that nothing happens to it. Basically implying that if you didn't pay, something would definitely happen to it because they were going to be the ones to make sure something happened to you for not paying, right? So you were paying them to leave you alone. And I thought that's what this was. I thought the protection money for the king... Personal space meaning anything to you, It lady? never does and it never will. 
I thought it was to prevent them from doing something to me themselves personally, okay? Hi. Hi. Hey. But apparently they actually do protect you. Though so that one fight I got in, he, uh, he didn't seem to do a very good job. Also, I'm sorry, I'm pretty sure you died last time. I mean, it was kind of a cursed camera angle, but something exploded and I don't think it was Boone. So that was you, and I'm kind of sorry. Let's just hope that he doesn't know he died in an alternate timeline. Uh, maybe he has a headache now or something. You know, sympathy pains for himself. But... I mean, I don't dislike them at all, you know? I wasn't trying to even, like, really rob them or do anything malicious. I just saw a magazine and was like, oh, look, a temporary buff. That's mildly convenient to have. I'm sure I could pick it up and just completely forgot that this one's following me. Anyway, so, you know, I was totally wrong about them being extortionist. Apparently, they are actually protectors, and that's kind of cute. Like, it makes them a lot cuter of a gang than if they were extorting people. Also, this is probably the first time in my life where I was too cynical about something. Usually I'm like, well, I mean, you know what I'm like. You've been here for a while, right? I'm usually like, oh, golly, gee whiz, it's all gonna be fine, guys. Don't worry about it. It's totally good. Everything is happy and nice and fine. And, um, this time I was like, oh, look at these racketeers over here. Look at these people. I'm not ready to go over there to that. Look at that. That is it, though. That is the strip. That is welcome to the strip. And there's a nice little businessman and lots of police bots. But I'm just not ready. I mean, it looks fantastic. And we're so going to go there. But I want to pursue other interests first. I really do. But yeah. So I'm sorry. That was my bad to um, all the King fans out there who were like, Why are you insulting my dudes? You know. Please, uh, please don't be offended. Lasers, plasma, pistols, grenades. We've got it all at the Silver Rush. Do you, though? Okay, so I gotta check the local map for this, because those look like they're all pretty close by. Look, one's, like, right over there. Well, who's right over here that fits the description, huh? Come to the Silver Rush lucky? for all your energy Head on down to the Right over Wrangler. here. I mean, you see it, right? It's like... Is this a door? No, this is the top of a bus. This is a door! Are you kidding? I never would have known that this was a door. Oh, it's a... It, okay. Let's go through it. Is this the south gate, then? I wasn't... Come to Mick and Ralph's for all your shopping needs. Oh, I went around the long way because I didn't know that was a door. Come to Mick and Ralph's for all your shopping needs. It makes needs. sense now, but look at it. It just looks like part of the... I don't know. Okay. If it can okay. be bought, okay. it can be found at Mick and Ralph's. All right, all righty, all right. Well, now that we're over here, we could do the Oris quest. But I'm... Come to Mick and Okay, Ralph's yeah, I've heard you the first five times. Thank you, child. Maybe if I come over here... I mean, there's one... Oh no, that's back where we came from. And that one's over that way. And there's a flag there. Whose flag is that? It looks like a watch or a compass? I'm not sure what group that is. What is this? Old Las Vegas... Mormon State Historic Park. Okay, should we go in here? How did I miss this on the way in? Whoa, okay. All right. I mean, it is just a big brown door. It's not like it looks that interesting. So... There's going to be somebody in here who fits the bill, huh? Smooth talker, maybe? Hello, who are you? Oh, you're the followers. You're the followers. Oh, I see. Oh, hello. Hi, who are you? Oh my goodness, no. Right off the bat, no. Hi. Howdy. Howdy. I'm not gonna make- I don't- look at you, you're so cute. I can't make you a prostitute. Who are you? I've been around a while. Currently working for the followers as a gun for hire. 
but it's getting rather dull. Oh no. Aside from protecting them from the occasional thug looking to intercept supply shipments, there isn't much to do around here. Oh no. The one researcher I liked who I could chat up about liquor got transferred. And the rest of the docs are pretty uptight about my kind of fun. Oh no, maybe she would actually like it. Oh no, Beatrix, no. What, are, what do you do here? I joined up looking for a decent paying job. Granted, the pay's all right, but they won't let me kick back and slog a brew at the end of the day. They're worried the filthy drunkies in detox seeing me drink will cause an immediate relapse. I say their rehab effort here is just a revolving door. It might be, but still, you shouldn't, uh, you shouldn't do that to the poor drunkies. I bet you've seen a lot over the years. I've been around long enough to observe the patterns of human behavior. Physical and mental anguish are especially exciting to explore. Okay, that's a bit creepy. That's a bit cryptic. Yeah, that's a bit... That's a bit creepy. Hey, who doesn't enjoy a little pinch and squeal every once in a while? No thanks. Uh, let's talk about something else. What do you have in mind? Uh, do you have any advice? Good? Bad. The guy with the gun makes the rules. Oh, uh, okay. Anything else? Longing makes the heart grow fonder. But I've always been a fan of hogtying my lovers to make sure they can't escape. Okay, I just met you. Is this the kind of stuff, is this the kind of thing you should open up to a stranger with? Okay, when was the last time you walked up to someone, I don't know, at school, at work, at the mall, and said like, you know, hi, and you're having a little chat, and you talk about like your profession and what you do, and then you go straight into hogtying your lovers. Like, I just... Oh, Beatrix. You're so intense. Time you enjoy wasting isn't wasted time. That's true. That one's true. I'll give you that one. I have some other questions, babe. And I may have answers. What can you tell me about Freeside? What starts in misery tends to stay there. Freeside wasn't Freeside until six or seven years ago. That's when Mr. House's robots rolled out of the Lucky 38 and started pushing everyone who wouldn't join him off the strip. Lots of folks died. Some scattered to the winds. The rest wound up in Freeside and seemed never to lose the habit of living like refugees. I see. So Freeside isn't really part of Vegas because everyone in New Vegas has to play by Mr. House's rules. What's your opinion of him? Before or after the human race shot itself in the foot, I've been around long enough to have both opinions, see. Before the war, Mr. House was a famous captain of industry. Robotics, to be specific, seemed charming in interviews until he became a recluse. Oh. Since the war, though, <laughs> didn't make a peep for near 200 years. But when he came back, he came back strong and killed a lot of people. I wonder what his reason for coming back was. That is so interesting. I will be... Uh, very into figuring out his whole plot. Do you know anything about the Van Graffs? Couple of rad scorpions, those two. Gloria is the stable one, but she'd slit your throat if there's a prophet in it. I believe it. Or rather, she'd tell her brother to do it for her. John Baptiste is one of the sicker humans I've had the displeasure of observing. I don't think I've had the unfortunate pleasure of meeting him yet. What about the kings? Aren't they cute? What about them? Pretty much the sort of gang you'd find anywhere else. Just with better clothes. And good hair, don't the forget the hair. The king himself, though? He's got that something special you can't put a finger on. Too bad he likes girls with skin. Uh-oh, she's a king fan. She would be up there in the king fan room. What do you think about the NCR? I reckon they care about getting water and electricity from the dam. And that's where it ends. The locals here are just an inconvenience to them. Something to step over or stomp down. They're here for the resources, plain and simple. And the followers? I don't know how they do it. They're like saints, those followers. If they didn't charge for their services, I'd think they was crazy. But nah, they're just naive. Warms their heart. Well, that's nice. Let's talk about something else. Okay. Well, honey... Give me some more of your crazy advice. The only thing I know for certain is that I don't know nothing. Gosh, you're just a, a wizard, aren't you? 
Feed a man for free, and he'll be back asking for more. That's not Feed wrong. Feed a man a bullet. You won't hear from him again. Well, okay, that's not wrong. I mean, I can't really get behind that, but it's not wrong. Well, I guess we have come to the big question of do you want to be a cowboy ghoul prostitute? I mean, that's basically it. They already have that pig McCaffrey working for them. Do they need another guard? No, you, uh, you would be doing something very different than guarding. Ugh. I've escorted my share of idiot tourists around Freeside. Oh, hon. Too much trouble for what it pays. I don't think you understand what it means. It's, it's, you're, you're being worse than me right now. I'm the most naive thing on the planet, and you're outdoing me, so just please get it through your head. I'm all boot knives and leather, friend, and a ghoul besides. What kind of weirdo wants what I've got? There's a weirdo. There's a person for that. Don't worry. Weirdos into bullwhips and necrosis, huh? <sighs> Doesn't sound half bad. I mean, it does sound what pretty am I bad. Thinking? I'm no whore. And I ain't about to hand my ass over to some penny ante hustler like he owns me. Well, I mean, that's fine if that's what you want to do. But maybe you'll get a discount on booze. Am I really going to talk her into this? I mean, she's old enough to make her own decisions. She's like, what, like 300, 500? Like, she's old, not 500. That's why she's like 200. <laughs> Sorry, but she's old. She can make her own choice. Mm. They do have a damn good selection of hooch over at the Wrangler. If I get to choose my customers... If I get to be a little rough with them, too, too much if involved. my cut is fair, and if I get that discount, that just might work. Tell the Garretts I'll stop by to work out terms. Okay. Bye. Bye. I hope you have fun bullwhipping people. I can't believe I just said that. I feel weird. Okay, well, this is a good place to stop, I think. So thank you guys for joining me. In my uh, adventures in, I don't want to say it, but pimping, I guess. Okay, that's it. That's the end. Thank you, guys. See you next time. Bye-bye.